Hi, my name is Derek Smith and I'm coming from Naples, Florida. I'm here to give a presentation on a very special genre to me that I've always found fascinating and that's the superhero stories. Um, they've just come such a long way since they first came as far as storyline, the direction they take the characters, and the special effects. So sit back and relax and I'm going to take you on an incredible journey and show you where these great movies we now watch originated from. In 1941, the first superhero appeared on film. The role was played by Tom Tyler and the character was Captain Marvel. This appeared in theaters as what was known as a serial, which was a small movie broken down into chapters and shown before a feature presentation. It was an incredibly big milestone and the flying was done by actually hanging a dummy from a string and zipping it across a line. In 1948, Superman came to the screen for the first time ever. It was played by an actor named Kirk Allen. This would become to be the most popular serial ever created. In these segments, the flying scenes were actually done by inserting animation after the editing process had completed. In 1952, George Reeves brought Superman into everybody's house in America by being the first live-action Superman television show. This broke many milestones, including the use of different kinds of special effects for the action sequences. This was also the first time ever that Superman was seen on the big screen in color, which came in the second season. In 1966, Adam West played Batman in first a movie and then a live-action show. This was a more comical, light version of it, like a comic book just seen on TV for the first time. Perhaps the most important year in superhero films was 1978 with the Richard Donner release of Superman. This movie broke every mold we had at the moment. This is where you saw the most amount of special effects at the time for a superhero film. They really did an incredible job with the flight sequences, the laser beams from his eyes, and everything else. It also had an amazing cast of Marlon Brando and Gene Hackman. Uh, in addition, you had a soundtrack score conducted by John Williams, which really set the tone for the entire movie with a theme song that made it one of the most noticeable ever. In 1989, Tim Byrne released a version of Batman that would pretty much change everything thereafter. This is where we left the comfortable mold of light, popcorny comic book Batman, and we really took a very dark turn with the character with an amazing soundtrack by Danny Elfman and Prince. Don't kill me! Don't kill me, man! I'm not going to kill you. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to tell all your friends about me. What are you? I'm Batman. Get out! 